Hey guys, Chris Ryber here. Welcome back. Today we're going to cover the installation and setup of the VBAR Neo VBASIC 9 channel receiver in my Twisted Hobbies Velocity, which is a 3D EPP foamy. Um, I've been flying this plane for a few months now. I've got close to 100 flights on it. Probably one of my favorite foamies to date. Um, and I've been flying it with the VBAR Neo with the V-Plane software with all the you know, integrated gyros and all that fun stuff. So I'm going to pull that off and put the V-Plane Basic on there and see how she does. Okay, so for the next step to get this new receiver in uh, Velocity, I unplugged my original Neo and I marked all my servo lead wires so I know exactly where they go. Now I'm going to plug them into the new Neo V-Basic. Okay, the new V-Basic is mounted. All the appropriate wires are plugged into their proper channels. So we're going to turn it on and go through setup, trim, and direction. Okay, so now that we have the V-Bar Basic mounted to the aircraft and all the servos plugged into the appropriate ports, we're going to plug it in, check our directions, check our servo throws, and make sure everything's working properly. Okay, and come over, plug the model in, wait for it to connect. Now check our throws, we got our up, down, so that's backwards. Rudder's correct, we'll try ailerons. Uh, ailerons are backwards, so let's start with elevator first. So we're going to go into the menu here. I'm going to scroll down to model setup, output channels. One is our elevator, so we're going to come over here, go all the way the other direction. Now we just need to level the elevators. We're going to go to center here. All right, elevator is done. We're going to exit back out here. I believe channel output two. That's the one aileron I want to fix here. Uh, let's see. Got our correct throw on our aileron. Just want to center it up a little. All right. We got our ailerons, our elevator, rudder. Let's check throttle. Motor on. All right. Throttle's going in the right direction. Motor off. So just like the other V-Bar uh, Neo with V-Plane, you still have your bank switching. So if I go full throws, there's bank one, bank, bank two, two, bank three. Bank one. And how you get to that, we're gonna exit out of this menu. So we go back up here. Let's say we wanna do elevator. There's your expo for all bank banks. Two. Bank three, bank one. And your agility, your agility is your rate. So there's 50. So if I want to raise that up, I'm gonna leave all the stock settings for now. The 50, 70, 90, that looks pretty good. Back two, back three, back one. So that's it, very simple. It's no different than setting up a standard uh, receiver. You plug the proper servos into proper ports, check your direction, check your throws, uh, center everything out. So let's take it out to the field and get some flights on it. All right, guys, we're at my local school. Got my Twisted Hobbies Velocity. I installed the V-Bar Neo V-Basic on there. For guys who haven't seen my other video, basically what it is, it's uh, the V-Bar V-Basic. It's just the standard V-Bar Neo uh, V-Link all-in-one unit, but they've disabled the gyros and some of the wizard software. So it's a nine channel receiver right out of the box. You can throw it on any plane, jet, RC car, RC boat. Um, you can actually use it with a helicopter, the single line out option to use another fly barless system. Later on, if you're loving the uh, easeability of it, you can actually upgrade later to the full V-Bar Pro with the V-Chopper software, 
the, the quad copter software as, as well as the V-Plane. It, it enableizes all the gyros for you as well as gives you the full wizard program. So let's get out there and put a few flights on the plane.